between Alex Cowboy Oliveira and Bruce Leroy Alex Caceres. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters are 32, with similar height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the Ladies and course. gentlemen, this Bruce fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Casares. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alex Cowboy Oliveira! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John, what got, John, what it got. doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's different, different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain this. Not going to grapple this guy. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Caceres. Ooh! He's very quick to push and throw that body kick. Beautiful hit. Nice one, two there. Slips the punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice combination of kicks there by Caceres. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, big knee! Just 
over three minutes to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice punch there by Oliveira. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Trying to establish that jab. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice shot there from Caceres. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice body. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Walk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big kick. Able to check that kick as well. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. 
Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Just out of range with that strike. Switching stances here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one. Anymore. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big no. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. For him. He misses with it there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. Just to do, he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, connects with the one-two. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. like that. When your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any sign. Oh! He's mixed up his target. He's throwing oh! kicks, he's throwing punches. That'll do it! Oh my Again, 
the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is what they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alex Bruce Leroy Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.